Windows 11 is here. It's actually been here for a little while at this point. And of course, Microsoft says this is the best version of Windows ever and everybody who can should upgrade, but it's not that easy because not every PC is compatible with the upgrade. Your computer might not meet Microsoft's listed requirements for Windows 11, but that doesn't mean you have to give up on it just yet. You can install Windows 11 on unsupported PCs, it just takes a little bit of trickery, and you've got to be sure you want to do it, but we'll talk about that later. Sure, it would be great if Windows 11 worked on every PC that could run Windows 10, but that just isn't the case. Microsoft has made a lot of claims about Windows 11 performance, but that depends on some specific hardware details. If you're going to work around those requirements, just make sure to set your expectations accordingly because your computer may not be as blazing fast running Windows 11 as Microsoft says it will because you don't meet those requirements. One thing you absolutely can't get around is that Windows 11 requires a 64-bit processor. It doesn't just prefer one, it won't run without one. If you're not sure what you're running, on your computer, press the Windows key plus the X button, then select System, then look for System Type in the details here. This will show you whether your system is 64-bit or not. One more thing, if the upgrade goes smoothly, everything should be fine, you shouldn't lose any files but it can't hurt to back up your important files just in case. You don't want to risk losing those. Since you can't upgrade using Windows Update because you'll fail the compatibility check, you'll need to go the manual route, which means downloading the full installer. On the Windows 11 installer page, select Download Windows Disk Image. You'll want the ISO format, then Windows 11, then Download. Choose your language and confirm, then even though it's the only option, select 64-bit. If your computer has at least 4 gigs of RAM and supports secure boot, you'll only need to make one change to the Windows registry in order to install Windows 11. Press the Windows key plus R to open the run prompt. Type regedit and click OK, then click Yes. You'll want to navigate to the location, computer, H key, machine, system, setup, mo setup. We'll put it on the screen for you. Right click anywhere in the right pane and select new, D word, 32 bit value. Name your new value, allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU, then double click it to change the value to one. Press okay to save the changes. At this point, you can try to install if you're sure that you don't need the other registry edits. We're going to cover them though, just in case, so bear with us for a second. Open the registry as before and navigate to Computer, H key, Machine, System, Setup. Right click Setup and choose New Key. Name it Lab Config. Now right click that newly created Lab Config key and select New D Word 32 bit value. Name it Bypass TPM Check. Double click the new value and set its value data to 1. Now repeat this process to create two more DWORD 32-bit values. Name the first Bypass Secure Boot Check and the second Bypass RAM Check. Set the value on each of them to 1. Once you've created those three keys and set them all to 1, you're ready to start installing Windows 11. Now Windows 10 has the capability to mount ISOs just like they're any other drive, so you don't need to burn a disk or create a USB installer the way you used to. Open File Explorer and find your Windows 11 ISO. Double click it to mount it. Open the mounted image like any other folder and double click the setup file to start the installation. Now if everything goes smoothly you should be able to finish the installation. You might get a warning about your computer not being supported, but it's not going to stop you from installing Windows 11 the way it would before. That said, you might want to double check whether or not you really want to install Windows 11 if it's not supported on your computer. If you're lucky, your computer will work just fine. You may not get blazing fast performance, but it might be on par with computers that barely meet the minimum requirements. On the other hand, you might get random freezing or crashes or other issues that could even lose you data. My advice is use the internet. Look up your model of computer and see if other people are using Windows 11. 
If other people are having a good time with Windows 11 on your same model of PC, you've got a good chance. If they're not, you might want to think twice. And there you go. If you want even more information about installing Windows 11 on an unsupported PC, check out the related article to this video over at maketecheasier.com. There's a bunch of bonus information there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.